Hello everybody, I'm Rootscarn. Uh, now, chronologically this is just after the big Clean Cup win post. Uh, I've decided to record a couple sessions live. Uh, you know, just to maybe see if it's interesting or not to watch the whole decision-making process behind all of my spectacular successes that I've had so far. Uh, if this is too embarrassing, you'll never see it, so... Clearly, whatever the end of this video is that you are currently watching, it's glory and fame. Now, I think I already upgraded my boys here. Uh, but, also, I just sort of... I, I, you know, I, I sort of didn't want to do this because I was afraid that people are going to give me too much advice. Uh, mostly, I like, I sort of am in the position with games like this where I want to succeed or fail on my own merits. I don't want to crowdsource my victory to all of my viewers, because that seems... Firstly, that seems like a little bit cheesy, and secondly, that seems like it wouldn't make for a great series necessarily, but the fact is that this game is obtuse enough that I don't think people giving me advice is going to help me much. So, you know what? Screw it. You could just watch me fuck up live. And now I have no excuses of any kind. Now I have a choice between Amazons and High Elves. I'm tempted to go with High Elves because I've actually had more success against Elf teams in the past. But the thing is... See, this is where I, I'm making a decision for, like, a storytelling reason. I've gone up against too many elf teams. Like, it's getting stale. So I need to go up against the Amazons, even though I'm pretty sure they're going to fuck me up. But, alright, let's go. Tlaxla Javelins. Let's do this. Repair match. I have not figured out how this part works. They don't tell you how much money you're going to... Oh, okay. No, I can kind of see the bottom there. 160000 I'm guessing that's supposed to be how much I have if I don't transfer money from the treasury. And... That is not enough. Uh, I'm just going to pop 40000 into the kitty. And that'll get me cooking here. Well, no, actually... Because hmm. I know I'm going to buy the uh, halfling master chef for a hundred thousand and then i'm tempted to buy a foul but they have enough strong players that i don't know if taking one of them out is really going to help me much i would really just like to buy a potion of agility so let's see i'm gonna put twenty thousand in okay i have 160,000 gold pieces in petty cash so how the fuck did that work then I'm really not sure what this money does. See, this is the sort of thing where maybe it would be good if somebody told me how to do this and how it worked. Okay. I'm also really not sure, like, what... So this... I guess if you do this, it increases the chance of gaining an attribute point. And if you do this, it also increases the chance of getting an attribute point. And I'm guessing that both of these, like, affect the speed this goes in the minigame. This game is so obtuse, by the way. If you guys ever, like, decide to pick this game up and you figure it out just from reading the prompts they give you, you are officially savvier than I am. 13% chance of getting one point strength for the duration of this match only. That sounds about right. So I'm going to show you. This is the star player I usually buy, Deeper and Strong Branch. He costs 300000 though, and I cannot afford his ass right now, so... I'm not going to get any mercy. I I'm going to buy, actually... You know, I am going to be on the safe side, and I'm going to hire a halfling mercenary to fill in the uh, one slot I've got here. So that'll leave me 100,000, just enough to buy the uh, Halfling Master Chef. So. All right, I entirely spent all of my cash. And, huh, Perfect has one. Oh, yeah, that's right, because of his equipment. Okay. And, oh, she got lucky, and her movement allowance actually increased. Uh, for me, I get the... I get the mercenary, I get the master chef, I get nothing else. Okay, our team values are about as close as they've been in this entire game. Let's play Blood Bowl. Uh, and by that I mean let's skip to the interminable loading screen. Oh, wow, this is literally the first time I've had more stars than my opponent. Uh, that's amazing. I, you know, those victories against the elves have really increased my social capital. I can't wait to see it go plummeting after I fuck this up. Okay. Nice, humble Blood Bowl Stadium. You know, at first I thought that, like, the stadiums were supposed to represent, like, the home and away stadiums for the teams in the Clean Cup. But I haven't actually seen enough to confirm that that is true. It would actually make sense that not every team gets their own pitch, so... Let's get this. Hi, and 
I always choose heads. It's a storytelling thing. Oh, hey, it worked. And, you know, I think there is a little bit of strategy here. I think I like to receive first for morale reasons, but I think there might be some something to, to kicking off first and getting rid of their players so you have fewer people to run defense on your team later on, if you're as shitty as I am. Alright, so I definitely don't want any of my players in contact with their line women uh, when this starts because they will just tear me to shreds. Lately, I've liked starting in kind of like a loose circular formation. Uh, oh, snow. I haven't seen that before. Uh, and the reason for that is that I like to form a lunchbox, and I like for somebody to get the ball, but, you know, I can't really run to get it because halflings hate running. It It's the worst thing for them. Even so, I'm betting my reception... Oh, one, I get one reroll, they lose one reroll. Okay, I'll take it. Okay. Sancho Green Bottle. Oh man. He was pretty well situated for the ball, too. Alright, so Pervin's Potato goes to get it, and he's got catch, so. Uh This is kind of an early risk. Uh, I'm gonna go for it. And the reason is because he has pro and I've got this shitloads of rerolls. Oh fuck. Yeah, see, that was already the first turn I've used a reroll. Uh, most teams, that would be just a sign that you're really not doing it right. That you are, in fact, doing it wrong. But in my case, uh, all I've got is rerolls, honestly. So I, I'm not as worried about using them up early on. I'll often go a turn without using a reroll just because, like, I'll save them for a real emergency. That's... To me, that's actually, like, what causes this the most, um... So I think my chances are actually better of having Dudo plug that hole than of having him go for it. Uh, let's just risk a turnaround. Yep, he made it. And I am gonna have Halfred, uh, choke up a little bit here. So Halfred, for some reason, uh, the RNG has made Halfred just randomly get a lot of turnovers from hitting other players. So I like to sort of style him as, a, like, a killer of men. Alright, these are both just regular... These are all regular line women. Um, it's a little bit risky to hit them. Because, uh, again, you know, I've got... Hmm. I'll take a chance. No. Uh, there's probably not a whole lot of reason to do this, honestly. Except, um... I don't want them muscling in through the sides of the lunchbox. But... I'm not going to be able to entirely stop that anyway. Alright. Yep, we've got our blitz already. That's a good sign. Oh, okay. Uh, that's actually good. Uh, I was afraid that she would blitz. And the reason would be... Sorry, not she, that she would blitz. That she would hit that guy. And then we'd have somebody else to blitz and get in there. And from the lingering pause, I'm guessing that the AI is deciding it doesn't have any more moves to make. It's a little bit janky, but yeah, that's sort of how it works. It just lets the clock run for a little while. Yep. Yeah, definitely. He definitely doesn't have any other players. Also, I don't know if you caught it, but that line right there, it sure smells delicious. That line is fucked up, where he says the same thing twice. No, I don't care. I don't move my tree run around anyway. Alright, so here we go. This is how I roll. I've got Pervince, who has... Uh, Pervince has pro, and I've got reroll, so... It's always a small chance that I'm going to make it through, but it's not a terrible chance. Oh, see? Yeah, he landed it. And really just have to hope he doesn't fall. Yep. We roll. Oh, come the fuck on! Are you shitting me? Oh, fucking Christ! Ah! Pervince, you motherfucker! Okay, well, now the ball is in his possession, which means I am not going to get it back because any one of these Amazons could fight about half of my team with their arm tied behind her back. 
Oh, yeah, Gibby Defender Stubble. See if I give a shit. Oh, wait, actually, I do give a shit because that guy doesn't have block. I'm thinking of the guy who's usually standing in that position, who's the star player. This is going amazingly! Oh! You know, the responsible thing to do would have been to have my whole halfling team collect there, but I need them to make sure the ball player doesn't get killed. So, yeah! Fucking hate this game! Okay, uh... So I need to clear a channel so I can get my boys... I'm all annoyed. Let's, let's stop and think. I don't necessarily want to chase after the ball. Uh, it's going to take her a while to get here. I want to cover these people. But I can't cover all of them. I'm actually fucked, and it might just be my best interest to make sure she scores as soon as possible and hope for a miracle in the second half. Yeah, hoping for a miracle is a pretty pro halfling strat, incidentally. Okay. So. Fuck. Let's see. Looks like he's gonna brush up against her. Is that right? Somebody. I don't see how that works, but alright. Uh, I don't really see what else I can... Two minutes, 46 seconds. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Uh, that's a blitzer, so... This isn't a good idea, but... Yeah, she got a, she got a hit in there. Uh, didn't actually succeed, but... Let's just try to plug this gap here as much as possible. Which isn't very much, but there you go. Okay, so this means at least that she'll be discouraged from trying to run the ball through here. And I kind of want to blitz with this guy, but I also don't want to leave a gap here, and otherwise I would have had to. <sighs> what if I blitz there? And I, would, I would still control most of that area, and I would get him a little closer to the action. See, it's a line woman, so I've got a pretty good chance. I mean, it's stupid. It really is. But, again, at this point, I'm hoping for a miracle. Well, let me get Pervins up first. Uh, yeah, let's just have him wander up and nominally cover the thrower there. In fact, fuck it. Let's, let's position myself for an interception. I'm feeling lucky. Oh, shit. No, I should have moved there first. Well, he's about to get hit, so... Eh. Alright, let's go for the Blitz. This is really doing nothing but saving my bloodlust. I'm just sort of hoping to get a star player point after this entire fucked up setup. No, no. Okay, I'll have him remain there. He's still plugging the gap pretty well where he is. And if she tries for a throw, then... I'm pretty much fucked, unless I can intercept, which I won't, so. Alright, here goes. Yeah! <laughs> oh, Bourbons, you're fucking redeemed, as long as you pick up that ball successfully. You think you can do it, buddy? Yay! Picked up the ball! <laughs> oh, Bourbons, you beautiful, fat son of a bitch. <sighs> Blood Bowl. That little, like, roll to nowhere really gets me. <laughs> How he, like, doesn't have enough momentum to roll very much. It's like his mass defies physics with how much blubber is permeating his fat star player little shit. Body. Body by Big Moot. Alright, it looks like I've actually got a, an Amazon player on the sidelines. Was that... Was that Pervins who did that? Huh. Alright, organize my players before kicking me off. Okay. So, I like to have kind of a solid wall of lard for teams with lots of throwers. By that, I might mean any throwers. Uh, just on the off chance that I get lucky and I knock out one of their throwers trying to sneak by into my lines. And also because halflings need as much help as they can get against blitzers, so, you know, I'll have them stick together. There's not much point having people, like, in the deep field here, because they ain't really going to do much. You know, unlike other teams. 
you're not gonna accomplish anything by having a halfling like in the end zone. Okay, I'm actually really unclear about what the positioning rules are, which is why I like to fumble around here like this. But, anyway, do I have my full team out here? Let's see, five. Okay, yeah, I guess so. Oh, no. No, I didn't, actually. It just dropped somebody there. Yeah, sometimes they, they screw up like that, with, like the mercenaries. I'm sure the fans will get a chance to cry. Okay. So in my experience, uh, it doesn't matter. Hey, he's fine. Doesn't matter too much where I punt the ball to. Uh, halflings are not good at that part. Alright. Here he goes. So the thrower is moving to the middle of the field there. I think that might be just outside the operating radius of my frontline halflings. Oh, yeah. And oh, there's a lot of a lot of blockers in that area. Hmm. Because at this point, oh. that reminds me of when I took Griff the bits in the ninety-one nah, he's fine. Oh yeah, you kneecapped him. Yeah, at this point, the uh. Oh, okay, sorry, I just had to get my train of thought back. Um, which I, I didn't, so there you go. Oh, right, at this point, my only chance of, you know, redeeming anything but they score very quickly is in, uh, oh, interesting, is in mobbing the ball thrower, getting it, and pulling a suicide charge for the end, the end zone. And it works sometimes against teams like this that rely on throwers because the throwers are often kind of abandoned. Let's see, three... One. All right, so Halfred needs to go up there. Did you know, Jim, that the Trax Warriors were the first people to win this? I'm actually cup thinking. Back okay. You mean no one else hmm. had won the cup before, Bob? Uh, no, Jim. It was the first time a non-lizard team participated in the Lustrian Cup, and the Amazons took it by storm and grabbed the trophy from Sotex Word. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. Has he put down roots? Oh no, he's fine. I'm going to move one guy up to cover the thrower, and then I'm going to have another halfling blitz. And I don't think it's going to work, but if I restricted myself to strategies I thought would work, this team wouldn't get anywhere, so. Uh, kind of want to have the guy I know is going to succeed move up there. It decreases my chances of blitzing the thrower successfully but it increases my chances of having somebody there to provide some resistance. So far, so good. Uh, they're stronger than I am. I feel like a throw, a push is honestly a pretty decent result as far as they go, but it's not good enough. And I've got three more rerolls, and there's only three more turns left, so screw it. Yeah, all right. It, uh, you know... Ultimately, it doesn't really have any effect, though, because that's a, the best I'm going to do. Alright, I might as well try to hurt this Blitzer. This is on try. Yeah, He's fine. But I think it will still be hurting when he comes around in a day or two. Mm -hmm. A recent medical report stated that cerebral hemorrhage is Yeah, that's basically what I expected to happen. Is it, you know... Really, I should have done that just because two players guarding it is better than one. Uh, that meant that he could blitz off one, the one player who was close by, and the other one standing there can't really do anything. So, yeah, in hindsight, that was a bad move on my part. Live and learn. Alright, so, she's apparently scared shitless of Shakewood there, because she's put four, count them, four line women on him. She clearly does not want these trees going anywhere, which I... Holy shit. <laughs> ah, fuck you. Alright, so... Wow, that thrower is tantalizingly close. Not blitz range for these players, but... I mean, it is just possible. Let's see. Is this guy going to be able to do anything useful? 
No, well, let's get him close then at least. So, it is just possible for these two guys to make it up next to her while taking considerable risks and almost certainly getting me a turnover. But, you know, one per, even one person near her is good. And then I could have Halfred uh, attempt to deliver a hammer blow. Okay. This is unlikely to work, but... Yeah, here we go. I should really just stop saying this is unlikely to work. Not because it jinxes me, but because it's deeply redundant. Uh, yeah. Well, you win some, you lose some. Let's see, what turn is it? Turn six? Okay. Well, this could be going worse. Alright, she's about to throw. Er, no, guess not. Oh, wow. I bought another turn, okay. Might be able to get some of those guys up and attempt that uh, Halford Tallfellow blitz after all. Oh, and she's even moving off of him. Oh, that's that's bold. He's fine. Uh, if you're wondering... Oh, I should have taken the push result. Fuck, because he's got block. Oh, damn it! That was stupid. Because the push result is worthless. But, you know, I, I, again, I'm used to having uh, my big tree man there who usually has block. Okay, so who can I marshal here? Falco, man, get your fucking head in the game. Uh, I can't do anything aggressively useful. I actually should have waited to bring him up. Um, well, let's get him up anyway. Uh... All right, Dudo. What's his range? Am I going to be... Yeah, that's going to be making two tackle checks. I don't like my odds. Uh, I'm going to leave that alone. All right. Um, is that worth the risk? Yeah. He's fine. I can hear the scream. Oh, he's not bad hurt. That's a change. I don't think her prospects for throwing the ball have really improved much. Yeah, see, the thrower can only make it that far. That's interesting. That actually seems like a really bad position for her to be in. You know, I really would have... If I were her, I really would have liked to have thrown the ball this turn. Uh... Five star points? He's fine. So if you're wondering why I'm not uh, taking these results for the Apothecary very much, uh, the reason is that uh, you only get one Apothecary roll per game, and because it often just makes things worse if it's a simple result. Alright. Get up, you fucking pansy. And he's effectively useless because with an agility of one, you don't want to have him try to do any fancy movement tricks. All right, so who's within range? Pervin's Broccoli. All right, take the risk. All right. Now, I just need to stop this ball. That's ultimately what it comes down to. I don't think it's going to work oh, out. Yeah, I need to reroll. That was my last turn of the game anyway, so I might as well have used it, but... Okay. How is she going to play this? Uh, he's fine. So it looks like she is going to score the last minute goal here. Yeah, she can't... Wait, the thrower? She stopped the thrower? She stopped the thrower! What the fuck?! <laughs> I'll take it, but am I missing something? Because she can't, she can't order a handoff either, can she? Yeah. I mean, yeah, so that means that the ball is inert unless I'm grossly missing something. Which means, as since it's turn 8, halftime, 
Wow. The AI in this game is not great, I'll tell you that much. I mean, it's good enough to do the job against halflings most of the time, but oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <laughs> uh, they'll be okay. Organize my players before picking up. Oh, I have players. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure this means that he's just gonna give me- the game's just gonna give me a bunch of ringers. Oh, right. Uh, I'm kicking off, so yeah. It's, um... Something like this. So, this'll be good. Alright, yep. Let's kick off. All my good players are dead, so... <laughs> well, not, not dead, just... Resting. For a long, long time. Yep, fucked up. But kick off, and of course, and like any good team with a thrower, she moves it deep downfield. Yeah, thrower moves in. That's interesting. She seems to be moving up, in my opinion, rather quickly. Yeah, see, okay, what I'm gonna do here is, I'm going to kick off that line woman there with one of the tree men, and I'm gonna move up a couple halflings to cover her, or maybe just one halfling to cover her, and then I'm gonna try a blitz with the tree man to get the ball out of her hands. And this should work, actually. Uh, don't know why I said that. Seems like this is a mighty disaster. Yeah, fall. Okay. You can't say much about that. Yep. But and... Legal. Let's see. No. So Minto goes into cover. Can he make it through? Okay, he's gonna have to take that away. This seems like overkill, so it's probably just about good enough. Hmm. Now, she has. I'm gonna risk a reroll. No. All right, let's see. How am I gonna play this? I'm gonna follow. I mean, you know, it's not a bad thing to have my tree man deeper downfield, so I'm not incredibly worried, but I am disappointed to be sure. This does also mean I have a good channel to get Minto up there and get a few more people covering her. Alright, now at this point, I think I like my odds better of... Uh, he's useless, I'll just leave him where he is. Of uh, detaching... Well, let's get her it, let's see of uh, detaching from this scrimmage here than I like uh, trying to go through there. And uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's that's a going for it and a tackle zone with a going for it. So let's uh, let's just try this. Uh, Whether he survives that injury or not, the team missed next game. Will be rocketing. He's fine. Really, what does it take to get me to use the apothecary? Pretty much a halfling dying. <laughs> that's 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 just that a halfling dying or a critical injury to a player I care about. He's fine. Oh fuck off! She gonna throw? She didn't throw. Is, it, is this is her thrower clear on her fucking job description? Like why is she not throwing the ball? She could have really fucked me up there, unless she's just not confident about... Is it snowing? No? Oh. Quick or short passes can be attempted. Well, that's a relief for me. Really, any weather effect helps me out, because weather effects are only good against, like, strategies that require risk. And halflings just are unburdened by having to worry about that kind of play. Alright, you... One can accept a bribe. Under an agreement yeah, let's get last season, the clubs you in there. Are not allowed to hmm. offer less than the going rate. So what's it gonna look like for you to blitz? Okay. Let's try this. Alright! Uh, yep. Bad idea. Bad idea. Might as well re-roll. <laughs> oh, he's fine. Oh yeah, you kneecapped him. 
Alright, so if he's smart, he'll use the line women to clear my halflings off the ball. No. Yep. Is she just gonna run it? Or is she gonna hand it off? Oh, she's just gonna run it. Okay. I mean, it's, it's academic. There's not a whole lot I can do at this point. Uh, I can't really reach her with my halfling's tiny legs, so I might as well just, you know, finish taking out the trash over here. And by finish, I mean, like, be commence actually using my tree man in a strategic fashion. So I'd say I got a little bit unlucky back there, but uh, not particularly. I mean, you know, you win some, you lose some. Uh, I'm just sort of hoping to get an injury, which, unfortunately, Amazons are really good at dodging, so it's probably not going to happen. Uh, and, you know, fuck it, I don't really care about this player here, Fonto, Ponto Forkson, so I'm just going to try for a suicide blitz, maybe I'll get lucky, who knows. Uh, do I want to reroll? Nah. That's fine. Alright, so, uh, that's not too bad, actually. She gets her first touchdown at the... How many minute mark? God, look at all those fucking injured halflings. Yeah, at the 12th turn mark. Okay. I don't hate my chances. Uh, I believe that the game gives you some ringers if you lose all of your boys. And I... Lord knows I need them. Unfortunately, I don't think you usually get to place them. That's it. The ball's in play. It's gonna be trouble. I thought that was the case, but actually, uh, I don't, it doesn't seem to be. Hmm. Okay, um, I guess try to pick up the ball. He's got a hand to the ball. Yeah, now he's looking around for support. I actually really hate, uh, my odds of doing this without enough halflings to act as, like, a living wall. So, let's see. Okay, there's too many trees preventing me from actually shifting my tree line, which would have been what I'd want to do at this point. Uh, let's just let's just provide a buffer so that when he drops the ball after he gets missile kicked, uh, at least he has somebody to hand Popcorn, it to. Check, pies, check, cake, check. Looks like for sure. It does not come too much back there. Let's just go sure for it. Their pre -match warm -up sure is different from most All right, so. Do I want to try to hurt somebody here? Eh. Yeah, right. And I'll have him follow, so that way he's kind of boxing these people in a little more. Uh, to be honest, I didn't really expect that to work, but it was worth a shot. Alright, yep. And she does the obvious thing, which is that. He's fine. Okay, she didn't get the ball, but she's probably about to. Oh, come on! D dude has enough problems in life, lady. Alright, she's got the ball. And she's probably gonna keep it. So, yeah. We've reached the point in the match where my policy of employing short, fat dudes is kind of starting to bite me in the shorts. Maybe I should have hired a few people who are over four feet tall. If you're telling me, it'll take a while to get over it. Wizards have not always been able to cast spells safely from behind the sidelines. Not liking my chances, to be honest. Uh, I would say at this point I would have to get lucky. Really lucky to pull a victory out of this. I remember fans traveling to games just to see how the wizards stood up to the mad charge of a raving blood bowl star. Okay. Can I get behind her without provoking more than one tackle? Fuck it. Okay. Winging a prayer time. 
yes. <laughs> oh, that's not surprising. What? Oh. Even I'm a little bit disappointed. <laughs> That's a turnover, uh, for what it's worth. I actually wish I had a halfling over there now, but I don't. Shit. Shit, man. Fuck. Okay, my tree man got up. That's a small miracle. Okay, that's one tackle. It's two tackles. Come on, man. Yeah! Okay, but he can't stay there. Except he has to. Shit. Uh, is that a blitzer? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, this is not good. Uh... I, I need to have him not touching any other player so that only the Blitzer can take a shot at him. It's still going to be enough to kill him, but, you know... Okay, I need to start hitting some of these fucking line wound back before they completely eat my lunch. No. Okay, my turn. Oh, fuck me. Minto, broccoli. Nah, he's fine. I'll probably actually just, like, cancel his contract. There's still a chance that somebody I like will die, so... I don't know. Like, an injury to one of these tree men. That's basically what I'm, I'm saving the, uh... It's unlikely. It's, it's stupendously unlikely, but that's basically what I'm saving the point for now. And don't forget, children, don't try and do this at home. Remember, these are I actually, to be honest with you, I really wish that she had scored now. And the reason is that she's about to score, there's nothing I can do about it, but... I mean, I guess I've got that one chance in a million, but... Uh, she's gonna score, there's nothing I can do about it, and... I won't have time to score myself, so. Did you hear about the Venus man eaters, Bob? Oh yes, Jim. I think everyone knows about the man eaters. Oh, uh, that's I a surprisingly good Bob. result. So but... is everyone with proverbial coconuts. Shut. All right, I've got one chance, and one chance only, and that is that. Nope, he ain't getting up. I've got one chance and one chance only, and that is that she will try to get past me and fail. Well, this slips the other one's wow. Yes, and yet they were is that actually exactly what just happened? Okay. I didn't deserve this. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, there's no point, but okay. <laughs> okay, uh, I didn't deserve that, uh, but it's a draw. I mean, it's not exactly glorious, but I'll take it. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Let's see if we can take a look at the scores here. So, which of my players weren't injured? Okay. Uh, looks like I lost a fan because of a fan factor point because of that. That sucks. Yeah, let's see. Yep. Just look at all them injuries. Pervins was the MVP, despite the fact that he just got clobbered real fast. And Tanara Elsifin. Okay. I don't know why I'm looking at this shit. I don't really care. Alright. Another glorious victory. Kind of.